you want to know how to do this? Then keep on watching. To start, I go to the app Fonto. Once you're in, select the camera at the bottom. Now select plain images. And then you can choose either one of these blank templates. Now select color. You can choose whatever solid color you want, but I usually choose pure green because it works best for overlays. Whatever color you choose, make sure it isn't the same as the text though. Like if your text is yellow, your background shouldn't be any shade of yellow. When your color is chosen, press apply and then the numbers at the top. Choose custom and do a width of 1280 and a height of 720. This is the size of a YouTube video. Select done and then back. Now select the arrow coming out of the box and then use. Tap anywhere and press add text. Type your text, choose your font, add some color, etc. These are the fonts I use the most. When you've got your text and font, choose style. Style it however you like. If you really want the text to pop out, I suggest using white or a light shade of any color with a black stroke. When you finish, select done and adjust the size and position. For sizing, select size. For positioning, select move. Note, you may need to make the text smaller than the size you have in mind to avoid watermarks. If you want to center the text, select move and press the two A's. When you're finished, select the arrow coming out of the box and choose Save Image. Go to Megaphoto. At first, it'll use a live camera, so you want to select a random filter, choose the gear icon, and select image slash video from library. Choose the image made in Fonto and done. Select the three circles to go back to the filters. Megaphoto has an array of effects to use, but I tend to use 300 to 313 and 366. I'll use this effect. So you want to turn the image into a video, so select the up arrow and then the film camera. Side note, you can adjust the speed of the effect by selecting the icon with two parallel lines with squares on them. When the effect is the way you want it, press the red button and it'll record. It'll show the amount of time it's recorded for at the top right corner. And this mega photo watermark is the reason why I suggest you make the text smaller than what you want it to appear as. To stop recording, press the red button again. To crop out the watermark, head to your photo gallery and select edit. I'm not sure if you're able to do this on Android. Select the square figure and then this icon with layered squares. I usually choose original but 16 to 9 works as well. What you want to do is crop the watermark out by zooming the image in. When you have what you need, press done. Head on over to Vlogstar. Select Start New Project and choose the video you want to add the text to. Make sure the canvas ratio is 16 to 9 and select Edit Video. To remove this watermark, all you gotta do is select the video and zoom out, making sure the watermark is within the black area. Tap anywhere to deselect the video and press PIP. Now select the overlay you made. To get rid of the background, select Chroma and put the circle on it. Feel free to adjust the intensity and shadow. Press the check and adjust the text size and position by zooming in and out. Here's me editing it a little bit more. Don't worry about this part too much. Once you like what you have, press the check and choose whatever quality you want. Tap export, wait for it to load, and choose save. To remove the Vlogstar watermark, follow the same process used to remove Megaphoto's watermark. Let's head into Video Star. Press the plus and make sure the first rectangle is selected and press Edit Video. Choose any random video, it doesn't have to be related to the video you're editing. Just make sure it has the same duration of your text or more. Like if you want the text to be visible for 5 seconds, make sure you're using a video that's 5 seconds or longer. Once you've selected a video and pressed Make Video, you should end up here. 
select new and then import. Select the image you made in Fonto and then done. The video should now be covered by the image. Press new again and then re-effect this time. Hit the plus at the bottom right corner and you'll be introduced to a plethora of effects. For text, I usually use Wave, Turbulence 1 and 2, Wiggle, Mini Wave V, and Music Distort. You can adjust the effect by moving the slider left and right. If you press the up arrow, you'll have more setting options. Make the effect any way you like. And when you're done, select the down arrow. If you want the effect to play consistently, press Quick FX. It'll load and bring you back to the main editing screen. But if you want the intensity to vary, press Re-Effect. When you press it, the video will play. Meanwhile, you can move the slider up and down. When the video reaches the end, it'll automatically load and bring you back to the main editing screen. Now that you've added the effect, select X and save it to your camera roll. Enter Vlogstar, select Start New Project, and then select the video you want the text to be in. I'll just be using a video from the app stock. Press Add and select the ratio of 16 to 9. To remove the watermark here, select the video and zoom out, putting the watermark within the black background. Deselect the video by tapping anywhere on the screen and select PIP. Choose the overlay you made in Video Star and select Chroma to remove the color background. Make sure you use a circle to target the background. You can adjust the intensity and shadow as well, but I normally keep it default. Select the check and adjust the size and position of the overlay. This is just me doing some extra edits, but you don't have to worry about this too much. When you like what you have, select the check, adjust the quality and press export. After it's done loading, select save. To crop the watermark out, go to the video in your photo library. I only have Apple, so I'm not sure if you can do this on Android. Select Edit, press a square figure, and then the layered square icon. I usually choose Original, but 16 to 9 works fine as well. Zoom the video in until the black background is not visible. If you tap on the video, a video progress bar should pop up. You can use this to check if the black background peeks anywhere. Select Done when you've finished, and let it save.